Hi, it's me, it's Carol. <laughs> I'm here to give you a success story, which I am so happy about. And I have uh, Iris and Lillian to thank and all the amazing women uh, in the group. Uh, and it's been a wonderful journey of self-discovery. And uh, I'm very, very thankful. I wasn't really able to get on a lot of the, if, I think I was on one of the live you know, calls, but I was very diligent with doing all my assignments and, and listening to everything. I really, really was. And I, I found it literally fascinating because uh, it was, you know, it was like taking a psychology course. There were so many wonderful, interesting things to learn about people and, and you know, uh, myself. And I, I learned some wonderful things. W one of the main things that I learned is that, uh, and it was really good for me that I'm the buyer and not, and not the seller. I, I'd always been the seller of myself. In other words, I want you to like me. I want you to love me. So I have to change my whole persona just for you to like me. And of course, that wasn't good because I wasn't really being my authentic self. And in the beginning, I didn't think my authentic self was that, that great. So, you know, I needed for you to pick me. And now I know, forget it. You know, I, I pick you and, and that's it. And if I don't like you, forget it. And I also learned that, you know, a man needs to meet my wants and needs and to have follow through. The men in my life never had follow through. They had a lot of talk, but there was, there was no follow through. Uh, but I, uh, you know, I really, I'm, I just, I'm just so thankful for this course because it taught me so much. It, it also taught me to be my authentic self, even with my flaws and what I would consider flaws, Iris would say they're not really flaws. They're part, they're what makes me unique and special. Mm -hmm. And if I'm a little, uh, you know, uh, crazy or a little this or a little that or a little self-conscious or a little uh, whatever, that's okay because that's who I am. And you have, if you don't like that, then forget about it. But that's who I am. And uh, another thing which I thought was very fascinating were the uh, attachment styles. And boy, I'm anxious. And my, my ex-husband was avoidant. And we just went like that. It was it was amazing. And when, when I learned about the attachment styles, it was really good. And, and I, I'm using that now because my attachment style still is to be the anxious one. And I have to catch myself not to text too much or not to be anxious about a phone call, not right on this, the dot at, at the time and things like that. So that's really good for me. I'm because I know that that's, uh, that's just a part of me that, you know, I'm learning more and more about. Everything was fascinating. All the videos, all, all the, every, I just, I, ha, I can't say enough about it. I, too bad that I can't do it over again. Because <laughs> it was so good. And literally this man just walked into my, my, my place of employment and talked to me for like three weeks off and on. We got to know each other. And then I, I felt a little something. I liked him. So I said to myself, you know what? I'm going to write him a note. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. What, what do I care? So I said to him, I said, you know, Bill, once you get back to your old self, if you think you'd like to meet a really nice person, me, that would be me. I said, give me a call sometime and maybe we could go out for a drink or not. That would be fine. I wished him luck and that was it. And a week later, I got a beautiful bouquet of flowers and I've been seeing him ever since. And I see him four out of the seven days a week because his love language is quality time. So I, I know that, but I want to see him. And he is just wonderful with, with me. And I, I'll tell you, he has such follow through. It's, it's scary. Calls me exactly on the button at 7.30. He's exactly on time. He's, he's just, I don't know. I have to, like I said, I have to keep pinching myself because, and I'm going to be 71 next month. And, uh, I told him today that he's, he's the biggest gift I've ever received in my life. And I think he, he knows that I'm a really gift to him too, because 
you know, I'm not saying that it, it's, it can't happen because it can, but when you get a little older, it's hard to meet a really nice person. You can meet people, but a really nice person, and he lives 10 minutes from me, that's another thing. The universe just aligned so, it, it's like, it's unbelievable. <laughs> my family likes him, my granddaughters are very excited. My girlfriends are all living vicariously through me, you know, and uh, it's just, I just thank you so much. And I'm, I'm really happy and grateful. I'm very happy, that's the thing, I'm, I'm really happy. I, I'm, I'm like a teenager. I think, you know, so I thank you, Iris, for, you know, uh, letting me, uh, taking me on this wonderful journey of self-discovery and love. And I appreciate it. I can't appreciate it any more than I do. Thank you. Thank you. You know, here's my cat. <laughs> you know.